والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد وعلى أهله وصحبه وسلم وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We'll be on something different from the theme. Our theme this year is coping with trials or trials that we all face. How do we cope with all of these trials? And just a few I have mentioned. And Alhamdulillah that so many people have connected with the messages as far as it has been spread. And I ask that may Allah reward us all and may He forgive us our shortcomings therein. My five minutes today, inshallah, will be on faith. Iman. It will be on faith because this for us is the foundation of our love and fear and hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is our foundation as Muslims for the love we have for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is our foundation for the love that we have for one another. It comes from the backdrop of the ayats that were recited in the surahs, the two surahs, one that was completed which was Surah Al-Ma'idah and the second we have entered which is Surah Al-An'am. The last part of Surah Al-Ma'idah and in this part we find the statement that led to the surah being called Ma'idah of what happened between Nabi Isa and the Hawariyin. Those are the disciples. They are described as the disciples. How many were their numbers? Allah knows best. But these disciples one day came to Nabi Isa and they asked him to make dua or call on Allah to bring down Ma'idatan min as sama Bring down a feast from the heavens. And Nabi Isa asked them, do you not have faith? And what they said in response, وَنَّتُمَعِنَّ قُلُوبُنَا we want our hearts to be filled with faith. We want our hearts to be constant. We want to see. Because as we know there is a saying, seeing is believing, right? This is similar to the statement that was made by Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, The father of faith. In the next ayahs that will be recited, we will see about the conversation between Nabi Ibrahim and his own father, Azar. When he spoke to them and said to them and warned them, Are you taking idols as worship or things of worship besides Allah? Nabi Ibrahim, as firm as his faith was, he was thrown into a fire. The fire was built up. He was stripped and thrown into that fire. And yet Allah said to the fire, Ya nar quni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. But yet, Nabi Ibrahim would ask Allah, Rabbi arini kayfa tuhi al mawta. Ola awalam tu'min. Ola bala wala tinli yatma in the kalb. Nabi Ibrahim asked Allah that, O oh Allah, show me how you give life to the dead. Allah responds to him that, Do you not believe? And he says, Verily, my Lord, I believe, but I want my heart to be constant. We all have that time or that point in time in our lives when our faith sometimes is shaky. When sometimes because we have been so involved in the dunya, we begin to think that Allah is not there for us. That it is a person that will be the reason for us to get something. A person will become a suburb for us to receive whatever favors we get. We are looking for a contract. We are looking for a project. We are looking for a job. All of a sudden, it is the name of Wani. It is the so-called GMD of NNPC. Or it is CBN governor. We are thinking it is people that have been suburb or that are the suburb. But then we forget about Musabbib al-Asbab. And that is Allah. And that is where faith comes in. And it was the faith of the believers that made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate their status. And even the Anbiya would ask those questions. But their response was... They wanted their hearts to be firm. And so Nabi Isa, he raises his hands and he prays to Allah. Allahumma rabbana anzil alayna ma'idatan min as sama Takulu lana eidan li'awwalina wa akhirina wa ayatan mink. He says, O oh our Lord, O oh Allah, our Lord, send down a feast from the heavens. A feast that we will all enjoy in. What was asked by the Hawariyin. And we all enjoy in this and it becomes a source of pride for us and celebration for us. 
and it is a source of gratitude to you. And Allah answered and provided this for them. This was the faith. It is faith that will make us achieve what we hope to achieve. And that's why this month of Ramadan, this is a month that we revive our faith collectively in Allah. If for the entire year we are not hopeful and grateful to Allah in Ramadan, this is the month for us to build that faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To become believers. As he says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ This is why we fast in Ramadan. And what is the promise Allah has given to those who are believers? In Surah Al-Zumar, the last part of the Surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the believers. وَسِيقَ الَّذِي نَتَّقَوْ رَبَّهُمْ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ زُمَرًا حَتَّى إِذَا جَاعُوهَا فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ تِبُتُمْ فَدُخُلُوهَا خَالِدِينَ وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ this will be the statement of the believers on the day of resurrection. When they reach the gates of Jannah and it is said to them, Salamun alaykum, peace be upon you, enter into paradise. And by the help of Allah, by the hope and prayer that we have, I pray Allah makes us amongst all the groups that enter into Jannah. Bis salam.